Mm-hmm. How have games been going? Um, lately, not too well. Yesterday, I tried to I tried to put some of the advice that uh, you gave me into practice, and it started off working really well. I um, I, I streamed like I think nine games. Even in the two games, I was kind of still a mm-hmm. little bit happy of how I played. Um, but today, I've been just choking away every lead that I get. Um, yeah, and it's not been so good. Okay. Um, try to play like there's a jungler. Oh, I forgot the timestamps for you. Um, but basically, 246 is really safe if you're on blue side. So like right there at 246, and generally you want to put it on the furthest most right side of the lane, but not too far so that it doesn't see up here, and that's just because it gives you the little bit of extra vision so you can see it. And then if your jungler does something like this, you're gank immune. Alright. Okay, like if they give you scuttle, but alternatively, I mean your second uh, trinket would come up anyway, and you can just plop it down here, and then you have these two. Okay. So that's um, static. That's always going to be the case. Yeah. One question I do have is, uh, for Aurelia, you lose a lot of your matchups in like levels one through five or, or one through three at least, top lane. Mm-hmm. Um, is that should I still just like always try and push the lane so I can ward early, or is it fine to just you know let the wave get pushed into my tower? Oh yeah, it's fine to get pushed in. I'm just saying uh, if you push. That's a nice recovery. So he's on cooldown right now. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that one was a little bit over eager. He's off cooldown. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, first, I just want to, like, come top lane with us. Right, right, I'm just going to TP. Okay. Uh, so it's sort of like the wiggle stuff, right? So, like, if he's right here, right, like what he's doing right now, and you're just moving like this, and he's on cooldown, you can threaten equilibrium. If he clicks forward when I click forward, it gives you the 25 units or 50 units, and you can get the equilibrium and maybe even a trade-off, right? But outside okay. of that, all that your eyes should be on is, like, see him as like a blur, like a color on the screen, and you know everything Camille does, right? So all you have to track is her cooldowns, and then you can just use your peripheral vision to see her as a blur. And what that lets you focus on is all these dots from these minions, and you can just watch where they're going, and you just mentally prepare yourself for how you're going to farm, right? And then in between that, like, I'm not even looking at myself right now. I'm just dancing, right? But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know, like, what I'm thinking, right? So if you just keep doing a wiggle, and then he comes up in range, you can get equilibrium off. But it makes it look like you might be thinking about something, even though you're not. Try to do it as fast as you can, and like as constant as you can. And it's probably going to annoy your hand at first, but like, (laughs) Adrian can even tell you, like, there's challengers that don't do this, but Korean, like, top players in Korea, they all will. And the wiggle is really good because it applies mental pressure. Because if you're in a lane, right? Adrian, come, like, stand up here. Right? And you're down here. And then your jungler shows up here, right? You know they don't have a ward on them. And if you know the enemy top doesn't have a ward here or here, you could just blade surge and move forward off of a wiggle. And because the wiggle doesn't show any intent, you know what I mean? Like, you're just saying, like, okay, I just want to stay here, right? And all of a sudden you blade surge forward and you walk forward 400 units. He doesn't know what's going on. And he can't see your jungle, so if he doesn't have a ward, he might think your jungler's top, and you can actually make him relay false information to his team, or you can change how he's going to approach the lane. You can make him be like a bitch. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Because it's all just like a mind game, you know? Like, why would Aurelia do that? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, so imagine you're right here, right? And this is going on, and then I just do this. If he has no vision, he's going to be like, what the fuck is just going on, right? And now I can play like an animal. Like, I can just move up and stuff. And if he doesn't have vision, he can't help but lose CS. And 13 CS is a kill. 
But not only that, XP denial translates into base levels, and base levels are more than a kill. Like, in terms of value. You know? Okay, yeah. And that just has to be your mindset. Like, he's, like, players at your MMR, they're gonna fuck up. What the hell's Aurelia's runes, actually? Fuck, let me make a page really quick. I don't even know Aurelia's runes. What, is it attack uh, speed is... reds? Yeah, well, or you can do either attack speed reds, or I do attack damage reds, attack speed quints, and then just armor yellows and MR blues or MR per level blues. Okay. Uh, like the basic, basic. The super basic. <laughs> AD page. Okay. Uh, give me one sec. Vizisachi. I just want to see what Vizisachi does really quick. Oh, he just played her, actually. Speak of the devil. Uh, he goes attack speed quints and AD reds. Okay. Uh, so I'll do that. Uh, and then the best magic resist setup is 3-6 uh, six or 6-3. Six, should never do all nine. It's, oh, okay. It's suboptimal. Um, because it's unrealistic that you'd ever need the maximum value beyond like levels 1-3. Uh, Alright. Is it always E first versus Camille? Um... I think so. I'm not entirely okay. sure. It's been a little while since I've played against a lot of Camilles. Okay. Typically, you take the E for safety if you're unsure. Okay. You only take the Q if you can safely. Yeah, e, e is what you're supposed to do. Because if you start Q, you get out damage. If okay. you start W, so you get out damage. How is her passive? Okay. Okay. Unless you start Q and the Camille doesn't have Q to begin with. Kind of a wait and see type of thing. Yeah. See these, like, clicks? Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, the ideal speed. Like, it's, it's like anything. It's like working out or weightlifting or anything. It takes time to build up to it. But, like, I mean, I played StarCraft for, like, so many years, right? So this this is nothing. I can, I can do this for, like, <laughs> 30 hours straight, and my hand won't cramp or get exhausted. Um, but it's really good for concealing intent. Because if you just randomly go like this, right, for no reason, it doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, like sometimes, like at the highest levels, stuff like that might be valuable because you want to mix it up, right? But at low levels where people can't help but make mistakes and stuff, the wiggling and like using stop and stuff, those those are gonna be the best because it conceals the most. Um, but like a aimlessly running back like this doesn't do anything. So all that's gonna happen here, I'm gonna walk up. Now he's on cooldown, so I don't care about him. I'm gonna get a trade, and I'm gonna pull the minion back. Now I'm gonna move in, and he's still on cooldown. He's about to be off, but I have equilibrium strike, so I don't care. I'm gonna hit this minion because I don't want him to get priority. He's on cooldown again. Pull that minion down because I want to CS it anyway, and that's what I'm thinking about. You know, like I saw that minion's low HP, and I know I can pull it down if I auto him. And now he's still on cooldown. Now these minions are the most important, the ones I'm pinging, because this is level two, and he's gonna look to get hook. And he gets it. So now I have to just... Now I know that that minion's gonna die. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I can just back up. I played that a little bit bad. My, like, mouse movement's not good. So now... I know... Well, whoops, I fucked that up. <laughs> Holy shit. I fucked that I fucked that up, dude. I fucked that up. God bless. Yeah. So his sustain is a little bit higher, but that's okay, because Aurelia is supposed to lose lane anyway, because she scales. I mean, Camille scales too, right? So I'm just going to stay back here, and all I'm doing is I'm watching the minions. I want to go up into XP range whenever I can. I'm just going to take trades like that. And I know that he has he has hook, so I'm not trying to walk up too quick, you know, too far. Yeah, and that's a bad trade by me. But, um, you know, like, that's the mindset. And then the wave's coming in. I have Heat 10 style. I can heal up. He can't do anything. So he actually lost the lane. Like, if that trade doesn't take place. Because I get this entire wave, and then he's only at 17 CS. I'd be ahead in farm. I'd be ahead in lane position. And I would be in control. Because his teleport would be suboptimal compared to mine. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, just, Adrian, teleport back, I guess. What would you buy against Camille? 
Ruby? Um, well, if, if I'm losing the lane, um, well, I might go Dorn's Blade. Dor really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I can't afford it. Rip. So now... I had, I had a book split. Um, okay. You just, yeah, you just TP back. Jesus. It's a bad time to get a book split. So right now, I know that this lane, right? You see these minions? These are going to come up and meet it when it gets to here. And I know that. But, like, I can be content because I want to crash that giant wave into his turret. He okay. Can't, he can't fight me in these minions. Well, he can do that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, I got it? That's a bug. Sometimes you get the reset oh, really? if you don't get the kill. What are you, max for E? W? Uh, max W, mostly. So now he's he's all on cooldown except for hookshot, and I ideally want to get uh, him into turret, but see he's not letting me do that. So what he's doing right here is he's controlling, you know, my ability to get wards. Yeah, that was good. So like, see that if I wiggle right there and he activates that and I clicked back, he would miss. He would miss out. Okay. And that stuff matters like huge. Yeah, and now he's like really far ahead. So I tried to go for a push. He out traded me. He has Sheen. God bless. And all I have to say to myself is I just have to be calm. Like, he hasn't warded yet because Adrian plays like an abusive uh, asshole, you know? <laughs> but, um, no. Uh, that just has to be the mindset. Like, I'm just back here and I'm not even looking at him. I see him. I know he's up there. I can just see her avatar. I know that she's moving. I know everything she can do. I don't care about her. All I care about is like making sure that I can get all the minions and dying. Um, but that's pretty much it. Okay. okay. So let's go. You one v one him again. And try to do the same stuff with like the clicks. And it, it may sound or it seems so stupid uh, that like this is mega important, but it is. This is like the most important stuff because if you get good at this shit, this is the base fundamentals of the game. Okay. Um, Uh, but this also removes the strategy component to the game, in in a sense, you know, like it it's much less reliant on strategy, and it's just the base, CSing, minion wave manipulation, discipline, you know, emotional control and whatnot. Just remember, just look at her like a blur, and just watch the minions. Yeah, she's on cooldown. I'm just auto attacking you because you messed up, so I can just stay around here. The minions won't even hit me for that long because I have the sustain. Once, um, let's see. Yeah, this is some pretty bad trades. <laughs> at, at this point, right here, I can just wait until I have level 2 and I have control of the lane. At this point, I can just get hooked shot here. I'm just pushing you back with this, like this. It's still pushing into you though, so. But I'm sacrificing a lot of CS just to harass you like this. Yep. And that's what you have to tell yourself, is that he's sacrificing CS to do this. So even okay. if it feels rough, it doesn't matter, because CS is king. Yep. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was trying to, I was gonna try to stun you there. Don't even think about trading with him right now. Now, your jungler could come top right here, but he has such a big wave that it's a little bit risky. So all you gotta do is focus on CS, and his job is to try to make you feel pressured. At this point, I would usually just go back and TP back to lane, because I'm too low, but... That's it. This is one good one. Click quick. I think you got him. You, oh, you got it. Should I flash out of there? Yeah. 
Or flash okay. equilibrium. Either one works. That's good. Uh, play out a teleport. Let's just keep this going. Input your next commands before the first is registered. Because I noticed that your mouse sits idle. Um, okay. Sometimes. Always be spamming the next command once the animation started. But not at a speed that would cancel. And okay. that's just for like efficiency. It'll increase your DPS. It'll make your responsiveness better. Yeah. <laughs> And now you look at yeah you can look at the lane and you see how it's pushing that means you have to TP because okay, otherwise you have to TP when it pushes like this well because see how uh, he has six or he's gonna have more than like four spellcaster minions plus a cannon that's a perma yeah. lock so you can permanently lock with those value or those numbers so like what he's doing right now so if you don't TP and just absorb the XP he'll get a massive experience lead over you and he'll guarantee that he hits he hits six first okay okay. Um, oh shit! Oh, apparently I DC'd. I'm I'm a rude player. <laughs> now look at the wave. So now look at your minions that are leaving Nexus. If you don't CS these minions, right? Then the spellcasters that are coming from his reinforcements will arrive before yours. Unless he manipulates the like. See that you shouldn't hit that. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. See? So now, your spellcaster, or his spellcasters, still live. And you can see that, like, 50 seconds in advance. So you know that's what's going to happen with the lane, and you can play it out as such. Okay. You know, just be calm. It's okay to lose one or two CS. At this point, yeah, I might have to do it a little bit too late. Yeah. It's kind of awkward here. Just stay in XP really range. See. Wiggle, wiggle in XP range, but envision Camille's hookshot range and play around that as you wiggle. Okay. Okay. If she goes for the hookshot, time the equilibrium, and she's doomed. Just remain calm. Tell yourself she's an idiot. Yeah. So that's just uh, slightly mechanical. Like if you're a little bit quicker on the pull, it, then it's uh, it's fine. I mean, you could flash it or whatever. Um, but that's okay. not the end of the world. So right here, like at level one, you want to find out what spell does he have, and you want to do it from an angle that's not like awkward, because if you're if you do it from the bottom angle, right, this gives him more wiggle room from the minions. Right? This is the, the more open area. So if you do it up here, not only do you have brush play to break aggro, if like an auto attack trade breaks out, but it forces him further into your pocket relative to your minions. Okay? Okay. So you want to stand on the left hand side. This is stuff that maybe you have to be conscious of like when you first start doing it, but like eventually it becomes subconscious. Like you'll start doing it with every lane. Like it just, you know, it's a natural uh, thing that's just advantageous for like terrain. So he walks up. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay. Now he's on cooldown. Right? So rather than equilibrium strike you, what he's trying to do is stand on top of the minion so that you auto him. Right? He's trying to deny you CS. So this is like that Vegeta thing I talked about the other day. All you want to do first is go for the CS, and if he hits you, then you respond with equilibrium, because then all your minions aggro him. You don't okay. care about hitting him. You want... You, like, again, CS is king. If he hits you, he made a mistake because you respond with equilibrium, which is a spell, so it doesn't generate aggro, and then all your minions hit him, and that does more than your than his auto attack. Okay? Okay. So you don't have to view it that way. And then on top of that, the minions would pull in further, which lets you get a nice angle on these two. Alright? So we shouldn't we shouldn't have tried to auto attack him with equilibrium. Because now you like at challenger level, you just horrendously lost the game. Like, or lost lane. Alright, so we equilibrium again, and we pull the minions down, but then he can follow with auto attacks, because even if he would take more damage because of uh, your minions, it doesn't matter, because if you have, like right now you have uh, 300 HP, right? So let's say that he has 500. 
So let's say that he eats 100 and you eat uh, 90 or something, or like 85. Who's going to die faster? It's you. So even though it's technically a quote-unquote disadvantageous trade, you can't keep up with it. So it doesn't matter that it's a disadvantageous trade. It's like trading down in chess or something. Or like Risk, if you ever played that game. Okay. These are just like base fundamentals of the game. You know, it's going to be every matchup, every champion, every fucking thing. And now right here, all you have to do is be calm. And then when he goes, you just, all you have to do is watch his avatar, right? And when you notice that there's something off with his avatar, right? Because I don't know if, not a lot of people know this. The face of the champion tells you where the player last clicked. People don't, not a lot of people know that, even some pros. But whatever fate, whatever direction their face is looking, because there is a slight difference between this or something. It tells you where they last clicked. So if he clicks down and then you notice his avatar moves weird, he might just go for hookshot. So you can just place your mouse cursor on top of him and follow. Or you can pull the mouse cursor on top of yourself and start spamming E. Like it's in anticipation. Okay. Um, and then like right here. Yeah, you could have just came up sooner. Because you already mm -hmm. know that you're going to take damage. So it doesn't matter. Because eventually his damage is going to stop. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter like how much damage he gets out on you, because you have a giant wave coming into your turret. So you know that even this wave that just left Nexus, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be right here. He can't control that. So because of that, you can eat 200 damage to get 2 CS. It's more valuable. Because there's never a scenario where you're going to kill him, or he's going to kill you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, the, the whole reason that I'm having, like, super emphasis on uh, laning is just because, like, uh, players, like, diamond through, I don't know, I, I, well, actually, to be honest, I don't know, maybe, like, 500 LP. They don't know how to lane. I don't know, maybe that sounds, like, really weird to say that, like, 500 LP players don't know how to lane, but they don't. Because players uh, in this region, you don't need mechanics to win games, technically. You can outplay people, you can be strategic and stuff. But it doesn't mean it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's always good to be uh, trading well. It's like right here. Yeah. You, you Now, you could walk up, and then that was really good. And then you can just stay on him. And he hookshots in, and this was really good. And then, yeah, just flash auto, flash equilibrium, and he's dead. Right? And that's just about, like, keeping up with your clicks, and, like, knowing exactly what's going to happen, and watching the minions, and seeing, like, what is... You know, what's this trade going to do? And that was really good that you pulled them down into the minions, too. So this was really good. Like, frame by frame. Now, if you wanted to be really cute, like, it doesn't matter in this game specifically, right? But um, if, like, super high level, you know this minion gives you 4, and 4 gives you, like, 100 HP or something, right? Base level. You could blade blade search to this, get the level up, blade search to him. Okay, yeah. You know, like that's super micro, but sort of whatever. So okay, uh, let's just take a look at that teleport thing. So here's the problem with how the lane was left off. Um, he teleports on top of a minion, and the reason that he does this is at this game timer, it's unlikely the jungler's top. It's not possible. And even if the jungler is top, Adrian knows that because this wave is pushing into him, he could easily just run down and get one ward really quick at the very top of the brush, and then he can just pull it back. Because a jungler route for 358 would mean that the jungler had to do like this. Which is not natural. Like, to, to go top lane. Not with how top lane played out. Right? So he's immune if he teleports. And because you have so many spellcaster minions, it means that he can generate a permafreeze. So he TPs, and then you see this. And this is something I would I would tell top laners and junglers alike. Um, a jungler needs to help you break this freeze, or you have to expend HP. Because if you don't TP right here, right now, because if you TP right here and he trades on you, you have too many minions. He'll lose the trade. Unless the jungler's here. right? And the jungler actually very well could be here if he did like a golem clear, or he did like a wraith clear into mid, and then waiting on scuttle or something. Um, but if you don't TP here, because he has a cannon, and he has the five spellcaster minions, plus the three from here, 
That's a, that's a perma lock. That's a perma freeze. Your minions like won't do anything. So you have to TP to break it. No matter what top laner you're on right now, this has to be the play. Like it's uh, okay. turn based. Okay. The magic numbers are like uh, generally for like a generic freeze. All you need is um, like three spellcasters, one melee. Uh, for perma freeze, you need five to six spellcasters um, because they deal the most damage. Uh, but then it also depends on like where it's standing in the lane. That's an entirely different like monster that could take like hours to talk about. Um, okay, so hang on. Was that a mistake then for me to auto the minions and push the wave before I recalled? Uh, so if we go all the way back, right here. Yeah, right, right there. I was thinking that he recalled, so I should auto the minions and push the wave to his tower if I can. Um, but I clearly couldn't. Yeah, you you can you can auto. Uh, I would auto the back line because that's the line that's not getting hit by your minions. You know what I mean? Because okay. it increases DPS. If you're autoing these and then kill these as they get low, your minions don't have to move forward to help with this. But see how these are now dead? These guys have to move forward. It decreases their DPS. Okay. So there's a slight delay in the speed at which the lane's going to clear. Um, so you shoving it is like, okay. Right? And then he gets the teleport last second. And then, yeah, you have to run back. And then just don't do a greedy recall, uh, because what he does is really good. He can pull the minions into the brush if he wanted to, like that, right? But he could do it even more. Um, and then he can come to interrupt you, and he, he loses like 2 CS, but so do you. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it's, a, it's a false belief that you must get 10 CS a minute. It's not always true. Like, there's ways to lin, you know, win lane. If you have 80 CS and the opponent has 50, that's better than you having 100 and your opponent has 70. Because it, you know, it's imp it suggested that you'd be better with a knife fight. Now, going to get this ward, you should just get a top ward, right? You should just get a top ward right here, because all you need is a little bit of safety to shove this lane in as fast as you can. Because you have too many minions, if he tries to trade with you inside of it, they'll deal too much damage. It's way too much damage, early on. Like, levels 1 through 6, minions are too big. Like, of a component to lane trades. Alright. And uh, now, look at this. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Not that. Jesus. That's me being a bad summoner. <laughs> um, so, like, right here. See the wave that's coming? This one. Right? Let me try to go back a little bit. Alright. So, you see this? This wave's here, and his wave's here. Now, he should know that these minions are going to die faster, right? That's assumed, because of the HP value uh, when they left off. The problem is, is because of where they are in the lane, right? You can break top lane up into, like, grids. You know what I mean? Like, one, two, three, four, etc. Because they're right here, these minions that are right here are going to arrive faster, and these minions can't kill these minions before the reinforcements arrive which means that the three melee minions are going to come up and bump, right? And once they bump, you get six spellcasters in the back line. So the lane will come into you. Mm -hmm. And you're happy with that. This is 40 seconds into the future, but you know it right now. So it affects everything that you're going to do for the next 40 seconds. It affects how you're going to wiggle, how you're going to trade, how you're going to move up, where you're going to stand in the lane, because you know that 40 seconds in advance. This type of uh, lane manipulation, like, literally ends games. Uh, you know, it just, like, destroys players and whatever. Because, like, see this? This giant wave's coming into you. And if you're ahead in CS, you know, and this wave is right here, all you have to do is live and the, game, the game's over. Because remember, th like, 13.5 or, like, 14 CS, that's a kill. So if you can just get a 26 CS lead or something, right... And imagine if you zone him off a cannon or something. That counts as, like, plus two, right? So you get a 26 CS lead. You killed him twice. And if you got a 20 CX, uh, 26 CS lead, it's likely that you also zoned him off XP. And XP is worth a shitload of gold, like, in terms of just value, right? So th mm -hmm. this is more impressive to me, and, like, anyone with a brain, 26 CS, than 2-0. Because the other thing about 2-0 versus 26 is 2 0 offers something in game that 26 cs doesn't 2 0 equals shutdown like shutdown gold 
So if they do mm -hmm. manage to kill you, they get an added benefit. If they kill you but you're 26 CS up, no added benefit. This is always better. This is always better. And that has to be like the mindset, like that you don't care about kills. You do not care about like aggression because it's it's infinitely better to get the CS scores. And player like you're playing a challenger, Camila, right? Bad like Diamond Five through like Master tier, they won't play like this. Like they, they don't have the discipline, they don't have the control, the ability to like control themselves. They don't know how to manipulate lanes. So all you have to do is take it slow and steady and then just do your shit and then like follow a flow chart for like split pushing. And just be naturally defensive because opponents are gonna fuck up. You know, the, the players that are in this tier with 500, 1,000 games, they're there because they're stuck, right? But they lose more often than they win, right? Because in any given game, you have like 15 to 20% uh, impact in game if you're genuinely that tier. So it's like a very low ratio. The, the guaranteed thing, though, is, is that teams that are on the defensive are oftentimes better. That's why comebacks are so big in NA. And just in general, you know, tie goes to defender, that common saying. If you just like sit back and relax and wait for them to go for an engage, a Diamond 5 Camille might see a hook into like an ultimate. Her teammates don't because they don't play Camille. They play casually. They play a few games a week or they just play a few champions. So they play a unique champ every game. So Camille saw the hook shot. Camille went in for the hook shot. Her team wasn't on the same page. All that these five assholes on the defensive, you included, I'm not calling you an asshole, was thinking about is they're waiting for the engage. So they've been prepared, but this action the hookshot is and is impulsive. So just wait for this and then hang them. You know, just like watch them bleed. Adrian, do you have anything to add so far? Hold up, I'm doing something. Um I just wanna know, because I, I know the whole movement the, like lane movements and everything is really important and all, but I wanna know like G what what's your um what do you think is like the wor like the thing that you need the most improvement on? Like from the games like what's what do you think? What do you think? Of? Um I think that my mid game and my late game, um I'm not I'm not entirely sure what the mistake is. Maybe it's like, you know, bad positioning on the mini map, but you know, I'm not I don't I don't want to say that my laning phase is like perfect and I know that there's obviously stuff that I need to improve on, but it does feel like especially these past couple of days I've had a lot of games where I'll start off strong in a game and I'll go like 5 and 0 or something in laning phase and you know, out CS my lane opponent, but mm -hmm. then I won't do anything with that lead. And while I'm getting fed, you know, someone else on the team is getting fed bot lane or something and then I'll, you know, I won't do enough with my lead to carry a game. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know if that's the biggest problem, but that is something that I've felt frustrated with lately where, um, you know, everyone complains about, oh, uh, you know, winning laning phase doesn't matter as much anymore. I've had a lot of games like that where, um, you know, I, I, there are still laning phases where I mess up, but it feels like laning phase is one of the stronger things that I know at com or that that I'm decently good at compared to at least uh, my mid game and late game stuff. So you say you're having a more like the biggest problem for you it would be like the rotate after you finish like let's say you get a kill in the tower and then after that transitioning that into a win is what's missing you. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, um, after the... F I, I made a stupid little video on this. I never know what to do after you take all three outer turrets and if Dragon is down, uh, because you can't go for Baron, like at the 25-minute mark or something, and your team has a marginal lead. You can't go for Baron or anything, and sometimes it's incredibly difficult, or it feels incredibly difficult to go and take an inner turret, where, um, especially in solo queue, you know, a teammate might get caught out by CC under tower or something. feels like you throw a lot of games that way. Well, usually if you have, in that situation, let's say you have the three towers down or whatever, you usually want to just, opposite to where the uh, objective is, which is Baron, you say you can't get it anyway, but you still go to the opposite side and you, what you do is usually is just push, like, let's say you go bot lane, right? You're pushing bot lane, you're just getting control, vision control of the bottom side jungle and just constantly pressure and make sure that the enemy team doesn't catch you. That's like what you do most of the time, like 99% of the time. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, so I want to see what... I, I want to see how you play this after you finish, after you go after laning phase. Even, this is a Malphite matchup. This is a, should be an even matchup. Like, you can't kill him, he can't kill you. Type yeah. Of thing. You can take, like, all scaling stuff in this matchup. Okay. Because for the 1v1, because for, for the 1v1, I, even though I see, it, like, a, a bunch of little things here and there, it's like, I'm sure that's not what's making you lose games. Unless right. you're going, like, 0 and 6, you know? It's just a yeah. minor thing. Mm -hmm. So. 
it has to be something with your macro after that. So I I can't really tell you. I don't know where. So I have to see a game. So let's see what oh, I got. Damn it. Dodge. Rip. Dodge so plus. the the flowchart thing that I want you to have um, is like CS objectives, right? And then opportunistic team fights. But remember, don't treat your teammates as if they're like people. Pretend that they're computers, like NPCs. You know, and they okay. have automated responses. They tell you stuff just like anyone in World, like World of Warcraft. Like fucking bread woman, she walks around. Got a loaf of bread for you today. Like I don't know. Like they tell you random ass shit. No one here knows what they're doing. So just stick to your game plan of playing single player. Like you aid them, you help them out. Think of that as like a quest. And to add on to like what Adrian's saying, like the guerrilla warfare, you know, you gain control over the bottom side of the map, you watch the mini-map. Like if you're in a lane solely by yourself, your eyes aren't on yourself, it's not on the minions. You have to get to a point where you look at the minions, you know the speed at which their HP is falling, and you know when to auto-attack without even needing to like look at it almost, or like you use your peripheral vision to auto it. And th I mean that's not 100% of the time, but what I'm trying to say is like devote the majority of your attention to the mini-map. And just watch champions like icons and avatars, like how they're moving and stuff. And that gives you, you know, more of an idea of like how you can split push to what, you know, limit can you split push and stuff. Um, and then you just back up like 2,000 units and you sit in the fog of war. And one of the analogies I, I just thought of, I've never used it before now, um, is think of it like this. If your team's ahead with three outer turrets and there's no objectives... That means that both teams are likely scaling forward at around the same gold per minute, right? If there's no team fights, there's no objectives, no turrets being, you know, going down and stuff. So both teams are continuing to move forward at the same gold value. The problem is, is that your team is ahead, and they're going to hit a bonus, like a, like a check, like a jackpot, you know? So let's say that your team's at 16k gold, enemy team's at 13k. Let's say 20k is new core items. You guys hit 20 even though you're both moving at 1k a minute, like both teams are moving at 1k a minute, you hit 20k in 4 minutes, they're only at 17k. During that time, it's likely that another objective has either come up, or that the state of the lanes is skewed in your favor because you guys are ahead, and you use that jackpot bonus to, to like end the game, or like get more advantages. But sometimes, the correct answer is doing nothing. And I know that's like an alien concept. Like, I've, I've literally coached thousands of diamond master players and that's always the thing that doesn't resonate with them is that by doing nothing you're actually doing everything if that makes sense okay um yeah <laughs> i'm gonna get my phone really quick adrian you can keep talking Fuck. out yeah Here's the thing, dude. E even with the with the when the one v one stuff we did, like I said, it's just I don't, I can't, because it like I said, you can snowball out of control with doing one v ones and just win the game by yourself, but that usually doesn't happen very often because people play semi decent, you know, <laughs> most of the time. But then you usually get those usual games where you go like ten and zero in laning phase and the game's over. <laughs> You're going against Jace, sweet. That matchup is hard as hell for Aurelia. Yeah. The luck, I dude. trust. <laughs> <laughs> I trust in myself. He's only diamond you. five. I believe in you, dude. You got this. But I don't know. Even through um all the accounts I've gotten past six D five to master, it's just you can carry yourself by just pure mechanics or pure like it depends like if you carry yourself by pure mechanics or macro and all that like for example i'm a player that i'll abuse people mechanically a lot of the time but i'm, I'm it's like a mix of both but you can carry yourself with just, let's let's think of i don't know like hashinshin right <laughs> his his macro game and all that sort of stuff is like completely awful but you see him just like abuse mechanical mechanically like other players like around like diamond one and stuff like that that's how he stays on the top like part of the ladder most of the time but depending on which one you do best you just hit you know you can carry yourself out with it so mechanically from when i played with you just now you, it's not you're not like obviously like master challenger level but you didn't do half bad 
So if you can just improve the macro, and it, if you just get good at the macro part, and you just keep doing with the mechanical part at the same time, you should be good. But the um, that's the part I want to see. After you drop like the the towers and you see all the objectives, I want to see where you go because that's like really important to just okay. winning these games because you finish off the games really quick. Otherwise, what happens is that the games end up being like 40 minutes, 50, 45, 50 minutes, or not even that long. But your team just doesn't know what they're doing, running around like they have their chickens, like their heads cut off, right? Yeah. And and then they just get come back with gold and one big team fight ends the game and you lose. Yeah. I actually have a quick question for you. Um, what, it, what, what would you still go for that split push that you're talking about? You know, uh, at the 25 minute mark or whatever. If you're up against someone that's like playing Maokai top lane or something, where um, you're probably never going to kill them. You, you know, you have a snowball's chance in hell of killing them, absolutely, and they probably absolutely. know that. Yeah, absolutely, because you're not necessarily wanting to kill your uh, your opponent when you're doing that. All you want to do is get full vision control of the bot side jungle, let's say your bot lane, farm everything on the bot side as it spawns. Farm, like, just farm the bot side jungle, farm your farm the bot lane, and just keep track of everything, you know? Okay. So you keep getting ahead no matter if, if you're, even if the Maokai is just, like, farming out on the bottom tower, you can still get a, a little bit of damage on tower, and you can get a little bit of... Uh, CS leads just from like denying the enemy jungler experience from the camps and everything. It it all ends up keeps adding up and adding up until you're like basically a level 17, and like everyone's level 15, like way lower level. That's why you see like really good top laners. They'll end up having like there will be like four levels ahead, like mid game. And it's like what the hell happened? Because <laughs> they just keep getting all the uh, the gold and experience like that. most important thing, by the way, in team fights, is try to remove yourself from the game, almost as if you're like a spectator, and just look at everything going on around you, and then try to evaluate if the team fight's over. Or ask Terrible. yourself the question, does it need to continue? You know, if both parties had a say, does it have to continue? If the answer is no, then just start running to an objective, like lanes G or something. GB, I think uh, you should have probably gone to Orange Shield in this one. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Because the corruption potion is not going to prevent you, him from all. If, if an all in happens, the uh, Thorn Shield can sustain, or even just slow, slight poke. I think the Thorn Shield gives you a lot more sustain and survivability. I don't know. Okay. Waves coming into you. All you have to do is stay in XP range. Because there's so many spellcasters. But I, uh, I, should I, uh, should I wait for him to be in a spot where I don't have to say like something? Because sure. there's a one huge mistake at the start there. I, I looked at the second monitor. I didn't see it. Like you know when the um, range champion comes up into like your entire minion wave trying to auto attack you, you should just let him auto attack you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because you get he gets damaged so fucking hard compared to you. He's standing on six of your minions. You just let him hit you once and walk away. He gets hit like twice from the whole minion wave. This is really good. Yep. Just be patient. Yep. It's okay. That's alright. Look, he, he's hitting the minions, so they'll die sooner, but then your reinforcements will push. Unless he pushes too hard. Just let him fuck up. Should I fall, or... No. Never mind. No. 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 Okay. Hmm. No. That was a good trade. That was that was a really good trade. Yeah. No, no, no. He, he's lost. Stand between him and the minions. Stand between him and the minions. He can't keep up with that. Yeah. Get, get back between him. Tell him to get out of the lane. Go up to him. 
go up to yeah back up back up back up, back up, back up. tell him to get the fuck out tell him he's a clown what's he doing yeah stand right there and stand still hit s no up further up further get him out of that xp yeah good nice shock blast fucking clown he's not a mana now just last hit he's tp'ing he's gonna have to tp you're ahead in farm you're ahead in lane control that's what you gotta think of he's an idiot yeah, let's get all this farm. Don't miss it. Good job. If he TPs, just fucking go on him. Pop Corrupting Pot, you have too many minions. Alright, let's shove this wave too. He's not recalling. Ask Grogus to get you Scuttle, if you can. Or just ping Grogus, ping Scuttle. Okay, good. Let's focus on farm. Slow the game down. And while you're doing this, because you already know how to farm, you can just look at the mini-map and stuff. You'll notice stuff. Let's recall, let's recall. Okay. Let's recall. Yeah. He's about to show up on the mini-map in like two sec- yeah, see? That's just tracking him through Fog of War. Yeah, let's get boots. So we can stick to him. Now let's look at the lane as we're walking. Do we need to TP? No. Because the minions that are leaving Nexus, they're going to arrive and do what? Shove into you. So you're going to have six spellcasters. So the lane's coming into you. So you don't need to TP. He's a clown. So now you're going to get a phage teleport. And then what the fuck? He, he's going to get Dirk. Look at that. Lane's beautiful. Just uh, Ward River if you can. You don't even need to. It's like just extra safety. Just wait. Just okay. wait. Just wait. Too many minions. Farm if you can. Equilibrium strike if he tries to trade. Yeah. Takes a little bit of damage. That's alright. He warded. Yep. Alright. He's on cooldown. He can't do anything. Yeah, let him hit you. Just wiggle down, though. Pop a Corrupting Pot. Okay, good. Yeah, he's gonna try to auto you. No, 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 no. CS, okay. Oh, you got him, right? With R? I think, uh, yeah. I hesitated. Okay. Farm up, farm up. Patient, patient. Yeah. Ask Grogus to come talk. No, 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 just wait for Grog. Yeah, there's a ward, but that's okay. Yeah. Pop corrupting. He won't realize why you're doing it. You can go now. Transcendent. Yeah, he's dead here. Yeah, he's, he's dead. dead. Don't need the flash. Don't need the flash. Okay, good. Hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. Look at the look at the minion wave that's coming in. You see it between your towers? That's his towers too. And remember, he has TP, so you have to shove really hard. Okay. Just pay attention to his death timer. See how bottom lane is recalled, and then look at the game timer. It's likely that the jungler, enemy jungler, was just on the right hand side. So you don't have to be afraid of anything. All right, let's recall. Great. So if we want to shove the lead down his throat, what, what's their jungler? Lee, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's get Tabai. Yeah, good, perfect. And then walk, wait like, wait for a pink, wait for lane. a pink. Yeah, walk to lane. Oh. Get a pink and then walk to lane. And now we're able to save teleport for bottom lane. See? So he has that wave right there. And remember what we just talked about with Adrian? The proximity from the minions that are gonna leave Nexus, the lane's coming into you. Just be patient. He's on cooldown. Just let him shove you in. Let him shove you in. He can't afford wards. He can't afford anything. Yeah. 
pull those minions up. Go into the brush. Oh, okay. Nah. It's okay. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. You don't want him to get too many minions. Because then he has freedom. Yep. Just back up, back up. Okay. Yep. Pop a pot. Good job. Yep. Now just last hit. Yeah, okay. Now the lane's reset. Look at bottom, look at bottom maybe. Just pay attention to it. You don't need to, you don't need to go. Yeah. Now you can go ham. Oh, what's Vayne doing? What's Vayne doing? Alright. Should no, I no, teleport no, in Nope, 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 nope. But it's good to look. These are the things like if you self-review, plays TV and stuff, just wait. Just wait for him. What's he doing? He's trying to come back to lane without TPN. That's a mistake. He's saving it for the dragon fight, but it's not going to be a good throw. Yeah. <laughs> So now you're going to have three extra spellcasters in the fight. Yeah, don't be afraid of them. Nice. Got his hammer stance. Yep. Yeah, just do that shit. Right, good. Zone him. Zone him off XP. Tell him he's not allowed to get any. Or try to. Nice. That's really good that you absorbed it. Because he might lose that, mi uh, that minion. Nice, he did. Walk up, walk up, walk up with it. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, get this wave into his turret. Yeah, just get it. Because you're recalling. Alright, run, run, run. Flash. Nice. They closed that gap pretty quick. Recall? You've already killed him, by the way. Do you realize that? Oh, okay, yeah. You killed him. That's that's great. That's the most impressive thing. Because you get really good at this shit, it's not going to be 15, it's going to be 30. Every fucking time. Correct well, me I should save TP for Dragon right now, right? Yes. You could have TP'd there, um, because Gragas is proximity, but you didn't need to, so it's good. Now, if Jace stays in lane, what are you thinking? Oh, oh, he's I'm doomed. Thinking. He's doomed. Yeah, yeah, you just go. You just go ham. He's an idiot. He's on cooldown. Oh shit! Yeah. Everything, everything, everything. Nice. Hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. Now the kills already happened, and you knew the kill happened about five seconds before it did, right? So we're looking yeah. at the mini map. We're looking at the mini map. Annie just went in to the river. Maybe Annie's going bottom. Shove, 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 shove. Pop a corrupting pot so you're healthier in case you TP. Annie might go bot. You might need to TP. Just consider that. No, 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 They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. All right, hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's recall. It's not good to stay because Jace is passing tier two top right now. Okay. He's he's gonna show up at like twelve forty four or something. Oh, he's not using gate. All right, run, run. Actually, run bottom. Run bottom. Run bottom because because Vayne just died, and the death timer, and Jace is going top. Right? This is a window for Infernal Drake. So you're gonna use teleport to get back to top rather than using teleport to go to Drake. Okay. Okay. Just get there as fast as you can. Yeah. Out of uh, he can just head top lane or, or push out mid. You should push out. Yeah, mid. push out mid. Push out mid. Back. Right. That's actually good, Adrian. Yeah. Because it's overkill if you're at the dragon. You know? So remember when I said earlier, if a team fight is 100% over, just fucking go to objectives. Instantly. We're not looking to fight. We're not looking to be aggro or anything. These people will make mistakes for you. Yeah, just go up to top lane. You can just kill them. Take the safe route. You don't want to get chunked. Okay, so you got Infernal Drake. And it gave you like a long sword and a quarter, so that's 400 gold worth. Yeah. Slow, slow, slow. Don't push them until you need to. Remember, because okay. there's no objective. His bottom's losing. Your team's winning across the map. When your team's winning, you want to freeze. If your team's losing, you want to shove and make plays, and you want to try to open up the map quicker. 
Yeah, just build up a huge fucking wave. Ask Gragas to come top. Give Gragas a pink warden river. If you, you guys can dive him. Yeah, you can just you dive him with a big wave. Good, kill that. Yep. Ask Gragas to dive top. Just tell him come dive. Just type dive or something. He's an NPC. He knows that word. Mm. Didn't want to shove that fast. Because you needed to give mm. Gragas time. Okay. Yeah. Stand uh, in the brush. Maybe Jace won't respect it. I might have a pink there. That's not good by Gragas. Alright, just wait. Yeah, just wait, wait, wait. Should I wait in the brush or go back to lane? You can go back to lane. lane. And now... Yeah, just play on the left-hand side. North northwest. Northwest, because that makes him go southeast. Okay, Lee Sin, Lee Sin. Okay. Help Gragas, help Gragas. Yep, you guys win, you guys win, you guys win. Okay, uh, well, fucking Annie. Transcendent. Okay, run, 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 run. Fuck. Oriana! Yeah, you guys turn, 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 turn. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, if Ori... Alright, she misplayed that. But, we should be looking to turn. Uh, cause summoners are coming up, you know that Oriana has, uh, ulti and stuff. Okay, yeah. We can go over that in the, the uh, the VOD. <laughs> Can just get Sheen if they had like any. A... Huh? I was gonna say, I think something you notice whenever you're actually doing correct rotations and farming correctly and everything is that you'll end up, you'll see, you'll be like 25 minutes and you have like 240 farm just from actually doing everything correctly. If you do like bad rotations, you, that's why you see a lot of players have like 25 minutes and 140 farm and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> find it pretty funny. Yep. You're still up a kill over Jace because of the CS. And it could have, you know, could have been more could almost be two kills and that's like what your goal has to be you know you can't be satisfied with winning a game like there's a there's a quote from a starcraft player a long time ago uh savior or majayun and i don't know if it's like actually literal but it was um someone asked him how he felt after winning a game and he said i feel really bad because i didn't rape him hard enough <laughs> and he literally meant it um you know like, he's not satisfied with his own play, because he needs to win harder. And that's the best mindset. Yeah, we just keep this here, and then we trade on Jace if he wants to be a clown. See, look at all these minions Jace is losing, right? Jesus, you're almost up two kills now. Still got TP. Alright, team got first blood turret. And we're just last hitting, we're keeping this here all fucking day. Where's Jace? Donkey? Look, you're about to be 12, he's 10! Yeah. Should I teleport this? You, uh, if once they're committed, to they have to yeah, be committed. Okay. They're not committed yet. Oh, Oriana's dead, I think. I don't think you can... Oh, well, maybe, maybe, hold on. Uh, no, their bottom lane's not oh, joining. No. Bot nope, 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 right. There's Jace. Oh, go on him. What's he doing? Get him out of that XP. Look at these minions. Get him out of... Tell him. Tell him to go away. Tell him to get the fuck out. He might lose that minion. You want to try to zone him off it? Zone him off it. Zone him off. All right. He shock flat. It's okay. These are the real victories. You uh, you played Smash Brothers, right? Yeah. yeah you know, melee. you know how like pro level is decided by like neutrals and stuff. It's not like yeah. smashes and stuff and specials. This is the same thing. Victories are achieved through this shit. Alright, your team's winning really hard. Just keep the pressure on for Jace. Oh, what's going on though in bottom? What's going on? What's going on? Take a look, take a look. Yeah, that's a TP. Maybe. Oh, well not after that damage. No, not anymore, not anymore. Not okay. anymore? Yeah. Okay. But Jace maybe thought, you know, same thing. Alright, we can just recall for Triforce. Because Dragon's going to be coming up. Wh what's the Drake, by the way? Yeah, what Drake? Uh, ocean. Oh, it's useless. Great. Alright, so get that, <laughs> and then... Yeah. Now, this is this is a spot where... You're getting damage, right? But your teammates are so far ahead, you don't need damage. All you need to okay. do is absorb. 
So it's sort of like okay. just going... Like, you're going to get that item later on, maybe third or fourth core, but it doesn't need to be second. All right. You Look, go you're up almost three kills. It's fucking great. He can't, he can't win you. Yeah, stand, stand between him and the minions. So you gonna do shock blast? You great. Use a corrupting pot. He ten style it back up. Look at this clown. Look at him. What an idiot. The f where the fuck's he going? All right. If he wants to actually leave, hard shove, hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. Punish, punish him for leaving. You should use your ulti here. Yeah. You should I use it? All right. Tell uh, bottom, 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 bottom. What's going on? What's going on? Oh shit. Uh, no, 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 no just too late. Yeah. Tower. Now, now you get turret. So they go one for one, but the turret is the most important thing. Objective or CS uh, objectives kills. Just tell him to give it. Spam ping him back or something. You can ulti the wave. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Keep going. Keep going. So look at the mini map. Where's that? Where's that next uh, red wave? It's about to pass the top tier two turret. Ready? It's about to come. You're gonna shove that, and then what? You already know no one's coming to you, right? So where are you going next? Are you gonna hit the turret? Or are you gonna go mid? So these are the um, questions. All right, Jace is here. So we're going okay. mid. We're just going mid. Yeah, just go mid. Just run. Just track them through the fog of war mentally. Yeah. Ignore, ignore red. We don't care about fighting. We don't care about any of that shit. Just, let's get farm. Just fucking get farm. Yeah. That's a nice uh, scryer steal. Get that, get that, get that farm. No, 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 no. We're here for farm. Okay. Look at bot lane. Look at bot lane. Let's go bot. Ping your teammates back. We're not looking Ping for fights. Back. Yeah. Yeah, good. Slow and steady. Get bot lane. Hit tab. You were up five fucking kills on Jace. Get this shit. Ping him back, ping him back, ping him back. Spam ping. Spam ping like defense. Yeah, keep farming, keep farming, keep farming. Shove, 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 shove. What's going on? What's going on? All right, shove, 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 and then join. Shove, join. Okay, go, go, go. Maybe join. Okay, yeah, go on Annie. Yeah, go, go, go. Ride him out. All right, team fight over. Is the team fight over? Both parties consent. Yes. Objective. Bottom. Bottom mid. Team fight's over. No. Drake's overkill. Go to a lane. If both parties consent, that team fight was over. So we don't chase, because if if the, if the enemy team's good, if they're all challengers, they're not sticking around. So it doesn't matter that diamonds might stick around and you might get lucky once. That's like fucking people in poker saying that King Queen's good. No, it's not. Okay. Get that turret. And then what are we doing? Look at top wave. That's juicy as fuck. Alright, let's say bye. We don't need the turret. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We'll get it later. We'll get it later. Remember the bonuses in the jackpot? Look at top lane. That's all yours, baby. Ping on the way. Tell tell Jin you need top lane. You don't really need it, but you're telling him that you do. Really? I feel like... He, uh, no. Maybe I'm wrong on this, but he, they're what? pushing the wave back into him bottom, and he can get wait, like just vision control of the bot side while he pushes. Should Even I build top, into... Jin, um... Jin takes that. Yeah, you can get wardens. Uh, yeah, you could go back bottom. Jin's already there. You can just go bottom. No, Adri Adrian's right. I'm just being fucking greedy, because that's four waves. Yeah. Yeah, and you have teleport. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, at this point, you just push bottom, and just get vision control, and take the, like, the bot side jungle farm as well, whenever they're not on it. And okay. just, you just get huge from it. You're already three levels ahead with the Jace, and if you do this, then now as, as they play around the top side, getting objectives and vision control, you just overkill, and you can just even kill the Jace later in. Also, this is where you sell your Durons for two control wards, and you use the control wards to get you safety vision for your split. Ping them back, ping them back. Just spam ping them back. Okay. Yeah, shove, shove, shove. Hang on, I didn't see where they were going. Just watch the- see when you're auto-attacking this stuff? You already know how to farm it. So just eyes on the mini-map and peripheral vision to farm. Push, okay. Uh, here, since you see them all middle, just keep pushing bottom. Keep pushing. And then hard shove, hard, 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 hard. Transcendent. Or, okay. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah you to, so now get a ward. Okay, now, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, you need wards. Get, get vision right. control. The, yeah, you need to get vision control the bot side jungle now. And if you see any camps up, so you yeah. just take take the. L look at the, the fight CS. though. Look at the fight. Yeah. Get 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 a, a ward. Uh, okay, go there. Should the, I ward there? Yes, yes, that's a good ward. Okay. Back. Uh, okay. Keep keep looking at the fight. This camera control is really important. All right, tell him to back up. Tell him to back up. Great ward. Yeah. Yep. Now go to. Oh. Okay. Yep. Go. Get in there. 
Pop the corrupting pots. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Alright, back, 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 back. Okay, back, 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 back. Bottom, 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 bottom. Your team doesn't need you for mid. Team doesn't need you for mid. Good job. Look, if look, the... look though at mid. Look at mid. Look at mid. Oh. You know? Because you're not yeah. looking at anything. You're just... Okay. Okay. Shove, shove, shove. Yeah, keep, keep take, taking tabs on it. Just remember, remove yourself from the game. Calm down. Like, breathe slower. Game's not moving fast. At this point, you shouldn't... You just... I mean, no, no, actually, you guys can get damage on that. Yeah, you guys can take that. But as soon as they start spawning, you gotta get the fuck out. Yeah. Pop corruptings. Take pop corruptings. Yeah. And now get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah. 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 yeah get out. Ping, 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 ping back, ping back. Okay. Now you do the same thing. You go back bottom. Yeah. The, I don't know, some pinks. Get some pinks. Take a vision control on the bot side and just farm it out. And let your team play around the Baron area mm -hmm. while you just keep pushing bottom. I would actually say sell Dorans uh, for Guardian Angel at this point. Because the only way they win is by bringing them down in a fight. You know? Yeah. Okay. I don't think he needs pinks because he has supers in mid. That's enough, I think. So should I go bot lane now? Yeah, because you yeah. have teleport. See top lane? So like when you're moving to bottom lane here, normally like if you're streaming, you're, I know you're interacting with chat and you're doing stuff, but it's important to like look at the lanes and know what's going to happen in the next minute. Okay. You know? So when we get down here, I'm just going to shove this out. Okay. Good. Yeah, no, all you really have to do is just watch your team, watching, yep. uh, just as soon as you see the enemy team pop up anywhere, you can decide whether to push or not. You should have warded yeah. here first, but it, it doesn't matter. Right you here. can just track them through Fog of War. They'd be passing blue. It, okay, yeah, see? You Base see four one. of them in the map, so you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. So go get the same wards that you had before. Yeah. He doesn't need to have the one all the way deep in if he sees his people on the other enemy team. Other you can just kill Jace. He's by himself. He's by himself. Yep. Oh, watch the fight, watch the fight, because you have TP. Watch the fight. Alright, nope. tell, tell him to get Baron. And then, nope, yep. stand, Don't take hug, the hug, just stand there. Yeah, yep. stand, just stand hover. still, stand still. Make you need go to you. Right, yep. you need to wait for a response. If minions come up, you can Transcendent Blades and get on him. Yeah, you can get on him, right? Yeah. Yeah, go. He's, he's doomed. Alright. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. job, now get the inhib. Spam ping your they, spam they, ping they, the NPCs. They, uh, spam ping the NPCs that you're getting the inhib. You know, just remind them. He ten style, Trinity Force procs, everything. Okay. Kill Vane. What the fuck's she doing? Corrupting pot, kill that bitch. Uh I don't think I can have that popped he ten. Okay. Alright, just run then. You're gonna have to fight here. You're gonna have to. No, you should have fought, because you're All not right. gonna get away from that. It's okay. Your teammates are here. Alright, just run away, run away, run away. You got the objective, you got the objective. Recall and TP back in. Baron enhanced recall. Oh. Okay, oh. I was done. <laughs> That's okay though. She barely got you. She's gonna die for it, so. Yep. This game's over. <laughs> yep. Look it's at your it, farm. It was over so far away. Yeah. Like that. That's, what I was saying earlier. <laughs> that's, that's more impressive than 8 kills, or 9 kills right now. Like that skill, yeah. When, whenever you're playing like the correct rotations and everything, you always end up having like perfect CS. So that's how you know you're not fucking up. Would you sell the corrupting here? I would sell corrupting and get uh, MR or something, or just complete Ronduins if you can. Yeah. Or Thorn Mail even, I guess, is good against this comp. And they don't have any life steal, Thorn Mail. Yeah, thorn meal is nice because they don't have life steal. And now we have teleport. So what do you think we're doing? Going bot. Yep. Same thing. And all that you're gonna do is you're gonna back up into the fog of war. And if Jace or one person steps forward because they think they're gonna stop the wave, you just wait for their minion wave, transcendent blades, blade surge, and you get onto them and kill them. Mm -hmm. Push out middle okay. and then rotate yep. bot. But you always want to be about 2,000 range away until you know, until you have enough info. The, the number one mistake, like, split pushers make, like, 
diamond through challenger even, is they, they step up too far. No, see? We're going aggressive for no reason. Alright, uh, yeah. you just have yeah. to go for the CS, that's all. Yeah, you but. just gotta get the CS. Yeah, now let's just go bot. You can ward. Is your ward right inside their base, or yeah. right here? Yeah, you can ward right there. Back up, back up, back up, back up. So your teammates are a ticking time bomb. So imagine it like, uh, you know, they want to kill you, and the only thing they can pray for is for you to go on them. That's all they're thinking right now, is I hope that we can at least pick off Aurelia, because they can't stop your teammates. So all you do is do exactly what you're doing. Yeah, and now they showed up on the map. Hard shove. Yeah. yeah. Rinse, wash, repeat. Now join in on the fight. Back up, back up, back up, back up. 2,000 range. Run away. Transcendent Blades. Okay. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Descend. Just... Okay. Or... Yeah. Okay. Turret, turret. Yeah. E10. Trinity Force procs. Whatever. Yeah, they can end the game here, right? Yeah, they can end. Uh, Jin's still alive. It's an upgrade Q, by the way. Uh. No, it's, <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> um, and that's it. Like, if you if you pro if you put massive emphasis on these priorities, every single game instead of fighting, you can't help but climb. Like it's, okay. it's just not possible. Like you work on the fundamentals, you work on, you know, this CSing stuff and the the zoning. Um, let's uh. Let's watch the game really quick, or like really fast. Uh, I'll share screen. Yeah, this, is what I, this is what I was telling him that really good, uh, just one thing, either whether it be mechanics or macro. And right. I give him as an example uh, Hushinshin. Guy has no fucking clue what to do in the game, no macro. But <laughs> mechanically, he, play, he just plays better than some other people. Yeah, that's true. So it's like, yeah. So if you just do the, like this macro where you just go okay. for the objectives and do this every game, dude, you're already better than most Diamond 1 players. Even higher, you can get even higher than that. The thing that fucks up the, the 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 only thing that fucks up that whole macro thing is just random shit happening where you don't you end up like roaming early or like a kill happens and you get killed by your opponent etc. Then you then right. cha the game changes drastically. And it's okay. Like, don't be. Do Do you ever play poker? Yeah, I do actually. Right. If they suck out on you, it's okay. You know, yeah. if, sometimes <laughs> ace king loses to king queen, or you know, or you know, aces lose to kings. Like, sometimes it happens. Aces lose to ace king. It doesn't mean that, you know, like, in a perfect world, and you had, like, fucking Pegasus's eye from Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, you could have folded preflop. But just because you went all in with aces and it, it lost to ace king, it doesn't mean there's something you could have done better. Sometimes yeah. you do stuff right, and teammates actually are the reason that it, it goes wrong. And it's weird to always say, like, oh, my teammate's fault, my teammate's fault. If you're consistently pile-driving your opponent 30-40 farm in lane phase in two levels, just, like, by the law of fucking averages, you're clearly not the troll, right? So statistically, the, the enemy team is more likely to, to have the problem, right? Um, so if you can consistently do that, you climb. Because this is stuff that players at this MMR aren't doing. Um, the thing that Adrian was talking about right here uh, at level 1... If you're against a range champion, you walk up to them, right? You just walk here. He autos you, and then these six minions auto him. Okay. So the lane is good, unless he wants to pull it into you. Yeah, like, just, just, pull it in. Just watch him run, just watch Jace run into the, into the whole creeps in a bit here. That's when I was watching. Oh, okay. Yeah, I missed this part. So, oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, around that whole area, you can just let him auto-attack you. He'll, he'll get shit on by minions. Yep. I'll take so much okay. damage. Yeah, at this point, you only have like two creeps. Imagine if he did it, he did that with like all the creeps. Mm -hmm. Fucking rip him. Mm -hmm. And see, he autos you. Look at the minions. Now he might think this is a good idea. It's not a good idea. <laughs> like, what is what is he getting out of this? Your minions stopped auto attacking his, so his lane is shoving into you faster, which you want because you're the scaling champion. It doesn't make any sense. This is what I was telling you. If you go, if you go Thorn Shield, it's really nice because he you let him get HP. that one auto. Yeah, you let him get that one auto attack on you while you keep while you keep making his uh, his. I mean, your creeps keep auto attacking him, and you just stay full health. 
and every time every time he auto attacks you, you're always full health. And the corruption potion, notice you barely used it. You used it like after like five, six minutes of the laning phase or something? Yeah, yeah. Just go door and shield, you'll have a much nicer time. Okay. And when your jungler's under pressure, like all you have to do is like look really quick and then ask yourself, can I help him? You know? And then obviously the next question is, well, how do I get the game knowledge to know if I can or can't help him in like really thin spots? And that's tough. Um, that's just, you know, experience and stuff. I mean, you just think to yourself right there, for example, is it, is it worth it? And for, for example, it's Lee Sin. Like, you just flash out and you lose so much from just like the laning phase. So you lose a bunch of control from it and it's just not worth it. Unless it's like a free, free kill. Like, you know for a fact you can get the kill. Mm -hmm. Anything that's a little bit of a gamble or it requires the opponent to consent, it's not good. Okay. That was really good. And then you just blade surge right back onto him, and like the trade is just nuts. And so like right here, this is where I'm telling you, see your HP, right? You should have been standing here sooner. Just tell him to get the fuck out. What is he doing? He's a donkey. You need to tell him to get the fuck over here and miss these minions. Not just like the CS, you want him to miss the XP. Because if he steps up, you're going to pop this, and you're going to blade surge on him with equilibrium strike. And remember that thing we talked about earlier? Like the, the 300 versus 500 HP? He can't keep up. He can't keep up. But not only can he not keep up, he's losing shit, you're not. So not only is he getting, well, he's getting the better end of the trade, right, damage-wise. He might deal 100 and you deal 80. Doesn't matter. You got plus 4 uh, CS, right, or you got minus 4 CS, minus 4 XP, you know, and you denied him 80 gold. Like, that's huge. Like, that's the good shit. Just stand there. Yeah, get back there. Yeah, tell him. Yeah, tell him. Th like, see this? Just stand still. Just literally hit the S key. That's good. You walked all the way. See that? He missed that minion. Do this a few more times. You get six first. You know, do that even more times when you get leads, like item leads, CS leads, etc. You get level twelve to ten. He can't do anything about it. He loses the game. Level twelve is like enormous. You get a free ruby sight stone in terms of HP. You know, if you have scaling stuff going on, you get fucking nice benefits there. It's like having like 800 or 1,000 gold in some cases. And then like right here, you shouldn't have let him like recall for free. You could have gave up like one minion to make sure that he's not being an idiot recalling like that. Like what Adrian did to you once. Okay. You know? And now, if he TPs here, we have too many minions. We're just going to trade on him. Doesn't matter. Because he'll TP and he'll, he'll like win the trade quote unquote right because you can't actually commit to killing him and you'll be like this hp the problem is, is that he'll be at 300 hp fresh off of a recall using his potions and now you're going to tp back to lane so it, it doesn't matter if he wins the trade temporarily because he just tp'd and you have yet to tp so it's just trying to bleed him out like to get the most value before you teleport back into lane to give yourself an edge um when we realize that he's not TPing, you just want to track him through Fog of War. And then, like, right here. Giant Wave, what the fuck's he doing? Alright, he hits this. This is great. It's a great spot for us. We get CS for free. And I think this, if you perfect CS this, you're up a kill. If I remember correctly. So this guy couldn't even make it to five minutes into the game without giving you a kill. Like, just in terms of CS and XP. Yeah, transcendent blades. Like if you were if yeah, if you were transcending sooner. This is where you hesitated, it's fine. Yeah, if you manage to just keep up in CS and do this like every game, you you're good. But you know what I'm saying? Like if, if the Jace player is even like just, just what this guy doesn't know what he's doing. If you go against an actual like good Jace player, this whole thing becomes like three times harder. Like it, he will poke you down so hard. Every yeah, time you go for a CS. So. The lane doesn't become... Uh, the lane actually becomes measured by how much can you keep up in CS. And then, like, right here, a lot of players would try to flash to get the kill. Gragas has it. If you can't win a lane via an assist, you, you have bigger problems with your laning phase. You know what I mean? Because if you play 100 games, how often do you get an assist? Maybe 50? 60? Right? But then you can still win games without the assist, so you don't need it. 
This is, or like a kill, I mean. You don't need that gold. So like, you play 100 games, right? And let's say that you can win 50 of them without a kill or an assist. This already means that you're capable of winning on even footing. An assist is not even footing. You already have a plus positive advantage, and you're already a 50% player with nothing. Like, no assist, no kill. Don't flash. Save the flash. Kill him again at level 8 or 9, because you have flash and he doesn't. Just let Gragas get the kill. It was good that you didn't have to use it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. But in most cases, yeah. Just like, you know, Gragas has it, let him get it. It's okay. Like, one of, the, one of the biggest peeves I have, usually, when I'm coaching players, is they'll obsess over kills. Unless it's something, like, huge. Like, fucking double buffs, or something, like, at level 4 or something. And it could have been given away. Like, just don't type or don't complain about it. Like, it's, like, ridiculous. So now, we're coming back up here. And again, wh what do you notice he does? He just shoves the fucking lane back, or he gives you the lane again. And this guy can't keep up with this. And all you're doing is hold and teleport. And fortunately, this game, your team was doing okay, but you still had TP the entire time. So, you know, if you ask the question, oh, like, what if my team wasn't doing well? Well, shit, you could have played it out different. You know? Like, you had massive leads. You could have turned the tides. But then the game's going to reach a point where you saw them multiple times handshake on things that were clearly bad because they don't know any better. All you have to do is dance and juggle until that happens. You know, doing nothing is doing something. And now Jace is here, right? This is where I would just trade on him. Because you know he can't keep up. He can't keep up with you. Because you're too far ahead and you have way too big of a minion wave. So you can just look for it. And this is where you want to be doing the wiggle, right? Because if you're right here and he's right here, let's say this is six, like 600 range and you're at 600. All right, let's say you click back, he clicks forward. Now he's at 625, you're at 575, right? But let's say that you're wiggling really quick, and you click in when he clicks in, right? But he was supposed to click back because he's trying to wiggle. Now you're both at 625, gives you the blade search. You know, and he doesn't have a response. Because during your blade search activation, he input another command. But it's too late because the distance was already accepted, like by the game. You know? Okay. So yeah. maybe he input to go backwards. Doesn't matter, you're already on him. You know, you're like midair. That's why the wiggle is like really nice. Right here, Lee Sin came. So we're shoving it in. And now, at this point, we already know that we want to recall for Phage, so we have two options. We can chunk trade him really hard and shove the lane simultaneously with, like, Transcendent Blades. And then we can recall teleport, and then... So this is what happens, right? Let's say that right here, when he was here, you trade all your life to go to that, right? And he gets knocked down to this. You back up instantly, you recall, you teleport, this giant wave's right here. Doesn't matter that the giant wave's right here. Like, underneath his turret, he's at fucking 400 HP. Now he has to back up, buy 20 CS. Literally, minus 20 CS. Kill, you, you get a kill and an assist. And then on top of that, he loses all of this XP. This isn't gonna be a level 12 versus a level 10. This is gonna be a fucking 13 versus 10. If he loses this giant wave with the cannon. But you have to plan this, like, 40-50 seconds in advance. Okay. <clears throat> and obviously, I know me and like Adrian are talking about a ton of fucking shit, and I don't expect everything's taken in at once. But just follow the you know the the discipline to do this all the time. It's like dieting, in a way. Yeah, we look for teleports. A good thing to do is F keys. By the way, they're a little bit hard to get used to uh, at the very beginning, but. They're really, really, really good. Oh yeah, this is the Oriana thing. We can actually just look at this. Adrian, were you thinking the same thing as me? When? Right here. What so I'm, th I'm thinking we get to right here, right? And then we get ready to turn with Equilibrium. Also, you could have had the Corrupting Pot going a little bit sooner. So like, if we chained Equilibrium before this, they're stunned, and then stunned again. Like if you were just standing right here. Yeah, the thing is, that I, I would have probably played this, played it the same as him, because I don't, I don't, 
I play the game where I don't trust my teammates, so I wouldn't have trusted her to do that. God. I would have, I would have <laughs> thought that she would walk away with a shield or something, like, just try to walk away. I was a little more concerned with uh, having my Q and my W on cooldown, and um, I didn't think we would be able to get to the get kill the before kill? the third person, whoever it was, Jace, that was still behind, would have came down and shock blasted us or something. Okay. I, I just thought we'd go one for three there. And that's something that we should take. But I think what Adrian said is actually accurate, because I also said it at the beginning of the session, don't trust your teammates. I just felt like that's a very simple uh, trust. But maybe it's not, okay. actually. Maybe it, maybe that's not a simple trust out of a diamond player. Because like, you would have to hit the equilibrium strike before she ults, so that it chains, and then you get the kill. But if you don't do it that way, then I, uh, I think that, yeah, you can die. People in Challenger leave you to die. You think the D5 is going to help you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, and then this is good. Yeah, tell him to get the fuck away. Like, this one CS, right? Like, let's put it in... Like, do fractions, right? Like, one fucking of 14. Like, one fourteenth. So just do this 14 times. Another kill. You know? Maybe it's not a kill gained, but it's a kill denied, in a sense, which is sort of the same thing. Um, let's go to the mid game now. Oh yeah, 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 right here. So Jace leaves, and we call him a donkey, I think. Right? Where, where does he leave? <laughs> um, yeah, this is where, he, like, where the fuck? Are, where are you going? Now, when he does this, right? I always tell this to people; they don't listen to me. Spam ping him in a question mark in a line, like literally in a line. Like spam here. I'll just actually show you. All right. So like, you were right here, right? And we saw Jace like this, right? So when he's doing this, just go like this. Oh wait, what? And you can even do it on the minimap, you know? Like, just fucking, just follow him. Like, if you're really good with precision and stuff. Like, literally just do a line like that. This, this works too. Like, that's the Korean way of doing it. The question marks are if, like, you have literally nothing going on. Like, no CSing that's, like, a little bit complicated because, like, multiple minions are getting low. Just, like, wait, I'm waiting for the fucking pings. Just do that. It's not hard at all. Like, it's so simple. Like, just in a line. Like, five straight, like, clicks down the minimap. Right? Um, and that's actually it, you know? Uh, with F keys, it's really good. Do you know about spacebar? Yeah, yeah, I use okay. spacebar. So, like, hit an F key, and it goes to your teammate. It's always top down. So, F2 is going to be your jungler if you're top lane. F3 is your mid. F4, F5 are your bottom laners. Right? So, you just hit F key spacebar. And it, like, that's it. Like your your screen recenters, um, so that's it for that. Uh, and then let's go to the split push stuff because that was a little bit wonky. Oh yeah, right here actually. So Jay shows up for a fight, right? I think he shows up on the mini map. Yeah, he shows up, insta shove. Just in, we're we're just gonna punish him. The way to think ulti. of this, yeah, just ulti, ulti the fucking wave yeah. as fast as you can. Just shove. Because you want to punish, you want to make them lose all these minions, you want to get that turret damage. The way that I, I tell people is to treat it like Twisted Fate. If you ever play against TF in mid lane, if he ulties, you can't match it. So all that you can do is try to pressure his turret and try to get his, you know, his turret down. So when this is happening, we've already established, okay, bottom lane's getting shoved, but bottom lane can hold the next wave. They can't go for tier 2. We know that if they want to go to Dragon, it's going to take them until like 2045 to kill it to get there after the turret and then kill it. Okay? So we still have 30 seconds on our hands. And this is what we're thinking about because we don't need to think about how we're going to hit this turret. We already know what we're going to do. We already know that we're going to blade surge these minions when they're below 20% HP. We already know all that. We don't have to think about it. So our eyes are on the fucking mini map and we're just thinking about like the game timer and like how fast do they move through the mini map, etc. And when we're looking at this, we're also looking at mid lane on the mini map and we're thinking to ourselves, okay, is that going to stockpile two to three waves? Because if it is, that's a kill. So now, can I push this in, get the wave that's going to be here, get this wave, and then can I bounce mid and get three more waves? Because if I can do that, that means I just got six waves, which is three kills. Roughly. Right? Mm -hmm. So, that like that's all that you're asking yourself. You don't care about your teammates. These guys are NPCs. This Gragas, he's an NPC. He came top to help you. It's like a fucking quest in World of Warcraft. Um... So now we're here, we're gonna, we pressured the turret a little bit, they showed up, alright, cool, we're going to mid, because we want farm. Alright, we're coming to mid, oh yeah, this was an important part actually. You hit the scryer, this was good. Always click close to your champion, by the way, this is the thing I talked about at the end of, see this? He's gonna try to Q Annie, but 
they're in the fog of war, and Annie can stun, and your teammates are too far away. No. If Annie, like, both parties have to consent to this, and Annie doesn't have to consent for, like, an extended trade. We're just going to get this, and then look at that juicy shit down there. So we're going to go bing, bing, because these are kills. This is a kill. This wave, plus that wave, plus incoming wave, that's a kill. Annie's a kill, or these are a kill? You know, same thing. But the, okay. these are more pressuring. This applies pressure. If you know how to move around the map, slip around the map, constantly get CS scores, it's a lot more daunting to look at someone that's amassed like a giant CS lead and a giant level lead. Like that, that's... Because that means that that person knows what they're doing with how they're moving. Like right here, just hard shove. And when you're hard shoving, like use space bar. Yeah, just like what you're doing. To constantly readjust and then now get into the fight. And when you move into the fight, try to slow it down mentally. Like, don't get anxious or nervous or anything like that. And just fucking think about, like, what's going on. So, like, right here. Is it over? You can't get on Sona if she doesn't want you to. Right? You can't get to Lee Sin. Oriana's out of mana. Fight's over. If both parties consent, fight's over. So what does that mean? It means that we're looking at this, we're looking at this, we're looking at this. And we're just going to it. Because your team doesn't need you for drag. We already know that. Right? So we don't want to overkill it. We want to be as effective as possible and run around the maps to get objectives. CS is technically an objective. We want to get kills. You know, 14 CS is a kill. So now we're coming up to this turret. I would just run up here, place a yellow trinket here, and then shove this wave as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. And then by the time I would shove this wave, they'd probably arrive. And then maybe I can back up unless my teammate comes. That's why you, t that's why you take Gromp if they had, no one took it in your team. Yep. After you rewarded that. So right here, yeah. And so this is a spot where like you can go top, um, but Jin's going top anyway, and applying pressure to bottom, even though the tier 2 turret is gone, doesn't matter because it applies pressure to the complete opposite lane of the major neutral. So we're shoving, we're shoving, we're shoving, and while we're shoving, our eyes are literally on the minimap 80% of the time. If you want to see a player that's uh, really good at this and he streams sometimes, Mike Young is actually really good at it. I mean, I, kn I know he's a jungler, but if you watch his eyes, um, he has some of the best eye control I've ever seen of a pro, including even Koreans. Um, oh. So, like, that's that's really good. So, like, right here, all right, we're shoving the wave, and all that we're thinking to ourselves is we should have sold Dorons for control wards, but we're going to come up here, we're going to get a ward here, and then we're going to come up, get a ward here, okay, so that we control this area. And then we're going to hug the right-hand side because of proximity, all right? Right-hand side is the furthest from these two points uh, that we have vision. So we're going to shove, yeah, and now we see the mid, so we, yeah, we'd, we'd already run to get the wards. We can just let that wave go, because we have this wave down here, and there's no rush. Now your teammates are fighting, so you should, you know, watch what's going on. Yeah, and you could just place a ward right there, if you wanted. Okay. Yeah, you, didn't, you didn't have to go over the wall. Yeah, it didn't have to go over. And then just watch yourself, now let's go back to the lane. Right? And now they engage, so your teammates are idiots, because they don't need to do this. But they, you know, they get an advantage anyway. And right here, you kill Lee, done. Done. It's over. They're down two champions. If you guys can't get a turret, you're either fucking disabled, or you just fell into a coma. <laughs> so, just get, you know, come back here. Look, you're getting... Uh, yeah, that's a kill, right? Because of the cannon. You just gotta kill again. And you're getting XP. And your teammates, they didn't need you. If you were there, it's overkill. You know? They're not going to fight your teammates anyway. You being there is just for added effect. You know? You don't need to be a wingman to the fight. Yeah, you'd kill the inhibitor six seconds faster. Congratulations. Right here, we, yeah, we're going to get the, in, uh, the turret. And then we're going to back up. And I said Guardian Angel because I felt like the only way that they can win is if they bring you down in a fight. And so now here, here's how we're going to split push. So, as we're watching, walking up to this, uh, this lane, right, we see them here, we see Annie, right? All we're doing is looking at our minimap. And if you watch, like, LCK sometimes, you'll notice that sometimes they even miss CS in spots like this. And that's actually because their camera's not on it. Because they know that's the least important. You're not going to lose a game at this point because you miss 32 gold. 40 gold. 60 gold. It's not going to cost you the game. Right? So if you could have seen the face, remember the face thing that I talked about? Imagine if you looked mid and you saw Jace's face point from, like, so imagine this is mid lane, like right here, right? 
like this is mid, that dot, and imagine you saw his face point down, southeast. That means that from right here, he clicked somewhere in this vicinity. If Jace's face was facing this way, it means that from right here, he has to have clicked somewhere in this vicinity. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it tells you what his intent is for how he's going to approach your split. That's why sometimes like elite players will just watch the cameras of other players and like what they're doing. Here you just want to shove. Just get as much pressure as you can as fast as possible because it's an open inhibitor. If it wasn't an open inhibitor, it would be okay to slow it down a little bit so that this minion wave could match up with that minion wave. Now all that we want to do, we see them all, right? We see Jace. Okay. So we already knew that Jace was going to kill that wave anyway, so we could have just walked up there and gotten the ward anyway. You know, because he's already going to kill this. We don't have to be back here until this wave arrives. Now we're just going to kill this wave. All right, your teammates killed Annie. Great. So now Vayne's in the middle. We don't know where, you know, the rest of them are. So, no, this isn't okay. If you don't have this ward, this isn't okay. Like, it ends up being fine in this spot. You need to be right here. Like, literally right here. Because of the proximity from this area. Because you know that they're not going to come like this. That's illogical. If they come like that, like, they just lose Baron. Because then their proximity to Baron, like, the speed at which they can kill you in an extended chase is not fast enough. Um, so all you need to do is be right here and wait for a response. If three people show up here, or Vayne heads here, then you know it's a one-on-one -on -one with Jace. Just walk into the base. You just need to be patient and wait for info. This is like guerrilla warfare. This is like proper uh, split pushing. So now all we're waiting for is the minions, and then we're going to transcend in blades, and we're going to kill. Now if Sona and Vayne were coming, they could almost be here, right? Which is what they do do, but I think that they are uh, a little bit slow on it. And right here, uh, your team is on the Baron, it's just Lee Sin, etc. And you're hitting this, and you should be looking for your Trinity Force procs. Like, just Equilibrium Strike minions, it doesn't even matter. So now Vayne shows up, right? And all I'm thinking at this point is just get the inhibitor or just go on her with, like, Blade Surge. Like, you can Blade Surge on her with Corrupting Pot, eat the Condemn, and then just run. Because she's not going to want to fight at you. And you have Baron-powered minions, right? So you can take a really big chunk to, like, shock her and then just back up. Um... At this point, you should know that you can't run anymore, so you just have to have, like, a last stand. Yeah. You know? You flash away. Yeah. And then just look to dish out as much damage as possible, because they're already down champions. And then that's it. Now we end the game. Yeah, we went up mid lane, right? We'll just talk briefly about the end. This isn't good. Should have just uh, gone bottom again. Because you still have TP. Okay. Like, you no, can go... No. No, this is fine, though, no? because he's pushing the wave, the, the wave that's going to get here once he finishes this, and then he heads back bottom, and it's fine. Yeah, I mean, but to stay mid. anyway, but he pushes faster. Right, but to stay mid would be bad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't mean, like, he can't come tap this and then baton bottom. Yeah, yeah that's, that's ideal. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I just meant don't stay mid. I feel like a, a lot of people here, well, they would stay for this wave, and they'd stay for the next. That's bad. Because he has TP and stuff. But also, like, he can't lose an isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I spoke wrong. Um, they killed Annie. And when they kill Annie, you, you kind of want to look. Like, if, it, if it's going on. Yeah, see this? Two trinkets? No, not okay. Just use them. Alright, and now we're going to bottom lane. And then, literally, all that you're thinking when you're here in bottom, right? See this? You're about to walk up. You could stand right here and just remain at 1,500 range away from them. Or, like, I think a champion's sight is 1,300, right? So remain at 1,300, so where you can see them, and literally spam control 4. Because if they want... What they want right now, if you ask, the, like, them, they want you to walk too far forward, and then they pick you off, and then your team can't get top turret. That's the dream spot. So all you want to do is stand right here at 1,300 range away and spam control 4 and laugh... And if they move forward, you move back. They move back, you move forward. And you just keep taunting them like a fucking monkey with like, you know, like the chimpanzee thing. And that's all you have to do. Because your teammates are the cavalry. You know? It's, it's sort of like um, the analogy that I like to use. 
is uh, so so basically, um, you know, there, there's a, a bomb that's going to go off or something, and it's ticking, right? So you know, there's like a clock on it, and this clock has 30 seconds, right? The only way they can defuse the clock is if you die. Does that make sense? Yeah. So all you have to do is live, and the bomb will go off. All you have to do. They want you to die so they can defuse it. But if if you don't like, they can go and defuse that bomb, but then you're another bomb. You know, like you'll fucking you'll kill someone. I don't know. You have someone hostage. You have them hostage. And that's the game. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have any questions for me or Adrian? I guess. Um. No. No, I don't. I think that was uh, that was a good explanation. I I definitely have some uh, some things to focus on. Okay. Uh, can I ask? Can I? Because I w I'm not sure if you got this part like correctly mechanic like, for the mechanic part of the lane. Because this is like really important. Because I coached someone on the range matchups, and I wanted I, if you want. It, uh, I want to do like a 1v1 with just like Jace thing again, but I want to see how you play the, the beginning. Like the part where, I, where I'm basically trying to hit you, auto attack you, with the minion wave trying to get you. Because I think that part, if you manage that part, the range matches become super easy for you. So I want to see okay. you do that. So, Nick, can you invite me into a... You want to do that right now? Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. if he gets that part down, range matchups are like the easiest thing that you can do. Sure. <laughs> mm, doesn't let me join. Doesn't let you join, really? Yeah, I'm gonna restart my game, my uh, client. Okay. Because there's there's two parts to the uh, the range match up there. Because you have to walk down, and it's I, I just want to see. That's all. Okay, I'm in. Let's go. Oh, okay. Go. Cool. I like how you put on Skype the, the ribbon guy, Nick. You like that? Yeah, dude. I like it. That's so people couldn't find your Skype. Skype. Tell me you appreciate it. Not really. All right. You know what? I'm coaching. I don't know. I remember to start um, Thorn Shield for the range matchups. Okay. Yeah. Because this is something like I've kind of become an expert with because I I just play Ribbon all the time, right? And the the people what people do to like counter her is pick like stuff like Jace Cannon. So you have to fucking adjust to that so hard. So I just got him pretty good at that. And at the beginning, if you just let them ha have the harass on you without taking any damage back, you just automatically lose the game from the beginning because they're they're really bully like bully matchups. And if in the in the Aurelia versus Jace, ma Jace matchup, for example, if the Jace gets that ahead on you, you you probably lost the game because if Jace gets that ahead, it's, you just have put so much damage to your your team, so you you get fucked. <laughs> Would you still start E in a rally versus Chase? Uh, I'm not a, a really a player, okay. unfortunately, so I don't <laughs> know. But I'd imagine, I'd imagine. Q maybe would be where you start, but I'm not. I, don't quote me on that. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I should start Q uh, if I am okay taking certain ranged auto attack or auto attacks at level one, because then I could get the first three CS.
Yeah. See, there you go. Doing it. Like at the beginning, you don't have to be scared from the Jace because you get you basically fucking with minion aggro. Okay. Jace is the one that's in a bad spot now. Yep. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I took I took XP. I'm sorry. Holy shit! I don't know why. All right, fuck. So usually when when a really good Jace will always try to do this, just like be super aggressive on you. Okay. And um, if they don't, like if you play it correctly, you you end up being in the better spot because you scale better and you can have and you have like since I'm pushing the wave into you, you you'll have an easier time getting the jungler to help you out as well. Mhm. Mm Especially because Jace is almost always going to have the lane in a spot where your jungler should be able to help at like 240 or whatever it is. Uh, I should have lost that. <laughs> it's okay. No, but you got you got the beginning for the, right. That's that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. All right. You happy that you got that kill? I did. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I guess that's it then. So. But just keep that mindset in games. Don't play with your teammates. Focus on CS and objectives only. If fights are over, okay. don't try to force them, you know? It, it's not impressive to get a lot of kills in Diamond unless you're, like, legitimately, you know, a really high-level player and you're doing it through all, like, mechanics and stuff. It's way more impressive to have outstanding farm and move around the map properly. And then, you know, everything else will come in time. And if you can slow down the game like this and assess like plays TV or like VODs of yourself, you focus on all of these things and everything else will start falling into place. Sort of like how Adrian was able to just simply show you like Jace versus Aurelia, like very simply. Like this is how it goes, this is why it goes this way, this is the effect that it has levels 1 through 4. That's just like, I talk about League, I think, I think you said in a video that League's not like a turn-based game, but I'm of the opinion that it is. Uh... I feel like League is a turn-based game. It's a very fast turn-based game, but it is a turn-based game. But people can move multiple pieces at once. So it's like, you know, there is some dexterity and all that good jazz, but yeah. It's ultimately okay. turn-based. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I have all these VODs if you want to rewatch them. You could okay, patch them yeah. together. Yeah, I can... Yeah, I would. That, that'd be nice. And okay. if you could also send me uh, those, those times again for warding. Yeah. Um, so I don't forget them. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Uh, probably send tonight in PST because I have to make sure everyone's asleep because it eats the uh, the internet, like okay. Google yeah, Drive. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, all right, I'll send them all. Uh, just leave me your Gmail or something, and I'll send. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, I'll send that to you. Okay. Good luck with everything. Thanks. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. See you Thanks for everything. Yep.